I'm going to show you a card today using this image from the Come to Bethlehem stamp set. I'm starting with a piece of very vanilla cardstock that is two and a quarter inches by four and a quarter. And I'm going to ink up this stamp on early espresso ink. Just tap it gently on there. Yeah, you can see it's been well loved for quite a while now. Just going to stamp it down on this piece to just give it some good even pressure. And then I'm going to get the other part of the card ready. So for right now, I'm just going to set this aside. I have a piece of early espresso cardstock that is five and a half by four and a quarter. And then this piece of crumb cake is eight inches by five and a quarter. So I'm going to line up the edges here, use my bone folder. And you'll notice that this is just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to attach this with the adhesive and place it right in the center of the early espresso piece. So the reason I did this is because I really liked the early espresso um, background with the card, but I didn't want the card itself to be such a dark color to open up. So I thought that if the crumb cake layer opened, it would be easier to write on and for the person receiving the card to actually read what's in here. So I just cut that down a little bit so that the card that actually opens is a little bit smaller than our base piece around the edge. So the fun part of this card comes next. And I am going to show you in the holiday catalog what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Lacy Brocade embossing folder as well as the Espresso Coordinations cardstock. If you haven't played with this yet, it's a lot of fun. Um, let me pull over my big shot. And to do embossing, I'm going to open this up, both tabs, and just set the um, cutting pad right there. This is that Lacy Brocade embossing folder. And then this is a piece of the Coordinations cardstock. Um, to you right now, it probably looks just like the early espresso cardstock, but you will see how different it actually is. So I'll just set this in here, crank it through the big shot. And then I'll just go ahead and set this aside. And then you can begin to see the pattern that's on here. And it'll be much more obvious to you in just a moment. What you do with this coordinations cardstock, the next step is to take our sanding block. Um, something you may not realize is that our early espresso cardstock, like the base of the card here, this is the same color throughout the cardstock. The core, if you were to tear a piece of this, the core is the same color. So this is unique in that the core is actually a different color. So when I sand this, I'm running the sanding block over the top and it's just hitting the areas that were raised up by that embossing folder. And then you can see the other color being exposed. The more I do it, the lighter you know, it gets. The more that gets sanded off, the more you see that core color. Now with the espresso coordinations, it just so happens that our core color very much resembles our crumb cake cardstock. And it's just fun to do. It's kind of like heat embossing. No matter how many times you do it, it's just fun to watch the results every time. Um, this is... Um, I don't remember the exact name of it. It's a handy little cleaning up cloth. And all I'm going to do is snip a section off. And this comes um, to use with our sanding block. You want to make sure you have this with the sanding block. Because I can rub over the piece of coordinations cardstock and it's picking up all the little pieces that got sanded off. You can see here how much it actually did. And what's great too is I can just take it like this. It kind of reminds me of um, like a Swiffer sheet that you use on your floor. You just clean up your area like this when you're done sanding. And then because I just cut off that little bit when I'm done with the project I'm working on, I just throw this little piece away and then just cut a little more when I need to use it next. So let's go ahead and add this to our card. Because it's embossed, anytime I have an embossed um, layer, even if it's just regular cardstock, I put adhesive all the way around the perimeter. 
there's just less um, surface area to actually connect and I want to make sure that it sticks really well. So I'm just going to push this down all the way around, make sure it's stuck on there well. This is a piece of crumb cake taffeta ribbon and I'm going to tie that just in a knot right down here toward the bottom. A lot of people ask me how to do bows and I, I suppose I could do a separate video just on that, but I pull it perpendicular like this, not like you tie a shoelace, but pull it straight up and down. Notice the edges curl up a little bit and that's okay because when I bring this from the bottom and go up and around, just when I tighten it and kind of pull my finger out, it lets that relax and fall back down. And then I'll just trim up my edges a little bit with my ribbon scissors. And then the last thing I need to do is add this layer. Um, I think when I originally did this card I used dimensionals, but I forgot to grab them, so I'll just use the regular adhesive. A lot of times I like to use dimensionals to put something on a layer that's embossed. I just kind of feel like it sticks better to that. We'll just set this on here for now. And then the last thing I'm going to do is take one of our rhinestones, just peel that off. It's got sticky on the back, so I can just set it on there like that. And there's the completed card. Something I wanted to mention about this card, this is one of three Christmas card kits that I am offering this Christmas season. You can contact me and order all of the supplies you need to make this card. The benefit, the advantage to you of ordering this from me is that I will make you one of these cards as a sample and I will also cut all of your cardstock for you. So all of these layers that are cut, when you order from me, you'll receive your order with all the cardstock cut and a sample card for you to copy. If you would like more information about my card kits, please contact me. Here is my email address. Thank you so much for watching my video. For daily creative inspiration, visit my blog or find me on Facebook at Jody Reinert Stamps.